Hello YouTube! Welcome back to the Every Closet! My name is Stephanie and along with my partner Ethan we are two full-time resellers of used clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay. So today we're gonna do a bit of a follow along with us slash mostly a thrift with us. Show you what we get but for now we're just stopping at the storage unit because we need to ship Canada. So see you on the road! Is it recording? at this really awesome tripod solution. <laughs> Here we are at the first location of new thrift stores. We're checking out places we've never been. Hey, was just something I wanted myself to look up later. I looked it up. I can't find anything about it. Here we got some Sunday Best Aritzia skirts, but all of them are $12, which wouldn't be profitable. We find a lot of stuff that's not profitable. For example, this stained item. These Vessies are the only shoes we picked up this day, and I forgot them in the haul, so they were $10. These Sorrells were 30, so I didn't pick those up. No, no. <laughs> and these are Merrells, but I think they were $12. Um, honestly, I was just curious about them because I like Merrells. This is a Levi's shirt dress, but I was not interested, nor was I interested in any of these brandless-ish items or Joe Fresh or whatever. This was Bauton, but as you can see me point out here, shoulder stain, no thank you. In fact, we found a lot of Aritzia, as we often do at Value Village and just whatever thrift store we're at. We live right by where Aritzia was founded, so that'd be why. But I don't pick it up. I actually leave most of it behind unless I'm confident it can be a profitable flip. Got some surf. We did. Bye. So we just finished at the first thrift store that we've never been to before. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. It had a lot of good stuff. Um, and we got a bunch of stuff, as you can see in the back there. And we're going to go to our second stop. And then later on, we'll do a bit of a haul of what we got. And Stephanie <laughs> met a subscriber. Yeah. Um, always come up to us and say, she was like, are you Stephanie? And I was like, I am Stephanie. <laughs> so always come up and say hi to us. We love to meet you guys so much. Yeah. And yeah, it was really cool to yeah chat with her and meet her in person for the first time. So that was really cool. And yeah, hopefully we just keep seeing you all out there in uh, in the wild. Wednesday afternoon restaurant. Oh, is this a video? Yes. All right. All right, here we are in the second thrift store. They had lots of great items that ordinarily we'd pick up, but oh yikes, $28 for that fossil crossbody. No thank you. Well, let's keep looking. Do they have any reasonable prices? And spoiler alert, no, they don't. Ethan found this B-A-N-S-H little like hoodie-ish sweatshirt thing. It's kind of cute, but you know what it's not? It's not worth $88. That's what it's not. Meanwhile, I was in shoes, just aghast at the pricing, but also aghast at how many bolos they had. Here's some Freebird by Stevens, but they were $150. I found multiple pairs of those. They also wanted $150 for some loafers, and I was like, what are you doing? Here are some Burberry heels that are $140. I'm just not interested in that. Um, maybe if I was buying them like for myself, but why would I be doing that? We got some Fly Londons. We got some... John Fluvogs. These broke my heart. I wanted these because I love John Fluvog, but sometimes you find things and they're priced either accurately or even more than accurately, and then you don't get to flip them or own them for a little bit and sell them. So that's mm. fine. I can definitely move on from that, but this store is um, dead to me, so we don't go back here. Ugh. Sandro for $69 just for a shirt. I thought this was cute, but $80 for Danye is not going to cut it either. Like, I couldn't even sell that jacket for $80, you know? It's just kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Egregious. Okay. Uh, our second stop for the day was really, really bad. Like, 
Whatever the opposite of a honey hole is, that's what that place is. A hell hole. I guess, yeah. Uh, a money pit? A bee hole? A place just, you'd go just, to light money on fire? Mm. Um, anyway, they, yeah, had some great bolo brands, all for about 1.5 times where we would list them at, which is impressive, because I'm guessing they don't take offers. And we list on the high end of things, so like, what? Yeah. How do they make sales? How do they make rent? I'm just confused. <laughs> well, some people might shop there, I don't know. Um, anyway, we spent only about like 10, 15 minutes in there before we were like, yeah, this is gonna be a no for me, dog. We're on our way to our third stop. All right, this third stop was okay. At least it had that the green tags were 50% off, so I enjoyed that. I uh, did not enjoy the price on these Timberlands, but you know what? Fair. That's what I'd list them at, so I can't be mad. We did end up getting this because it was 50% off that tag price, so you'll see that in the haul. It's like a jumpsuit. You look cute? Yep. Oh. How was it? Oh, well, you see what I'm hoping. So bad. Yes. A wild Stephanie in her element. Wow. One teaspoon of these. Mm. But there's different cups skinny, so I'm not one. Ooh, one laser sensual. How much are you? Tell me our secrets. Oh, too much money. Yes, too much money. I was just getting a Starbucks and got into the car, and <laughs> we got the best message from a person who just bought a Winnie the Pooh outfit onesie that we have. Stephanie has not read this yet. I was actually laughing out loud in the Starbucks, just like a crazy person. The message says, Hi, new friend with the ridiculous off-brand Winnie the Pooh outfit. I am very excited to own this! Exclamation point. I'm also desperately hoping it's possible to have it in my hot little hands by Tuesday, June 6th, so I can take it to a Burning Man event and eat honey and tut-tut like a good little bear wearing only a shirt and no pants while still being very warm and cozy. Oh my god! Isn't that the best? That is so much more over the top than I even expected. Right? Does I... Winnie the Pooh go tut-tut? Reseller tut? life's funny! Yeah, buyer who purchased that, you're awesome and uh, you made me laugh really hard, so thank you. Just uh, like cackling in the Starbucks. Definitely because you preempted, but like to just read that randomly. In my hot little hands. In my hot little hands. killed me. <laughs> One of our stops today, we picked up some consignment stuff from a consignment client while we're out and about in the area. Oh, beautiful day. Go source, continue the sourcing. Yeah. You percent off, Greg. Oh yeah. All right, this was our fourth stop, I believe, of the day, or maybe fifth. Uh, these are some rains pants, so like supposed to be waterproof. Their jackets do pretty okay and well, but $15 for their pants, Ethan looked up, not profitable. Priceless. Well, we can ask. Add it to the pile. All right, got more bags of stuff. That was a good location. Pricey, but accurate. I'm fairly sure that I already filmed an intro for this video. We're doing a haul. I want to show you guys what we got at the thrift stores. We went to four, maybe five. This was not yesterday anymore. This was a few days ago now. Two of them we didn't get anything at. One of them we got a lot at. And then two of the other ones we got you know, a few things about an average amount of stuff at. Um, so I'd say we found one great new thrifting spot, two spots that I'll check from time to time, and two spots I can just cross off my map of thrift stores I'll ever go into. One of them was so expensive. It was higher than comps is what they were pricing things at. And I was like, I don't know how you're going to move any of this, but you clearly know what a valuable brand is because they had like lots and lots of luxury brands and designer brands. They had Freebird by Steven shoes and they were $150 for men's loafers. Like that's totally a reasonable price for their boots, but that it wasn't. It was a pair of men's loafers. I digress. There are some thrift stores around here <laughs> that are like, heck no. So let me show you what we got from all of those combined, except obviously nothing from the charitable ones. Okay. The first thing we got are these Babaton pants. They're lined. They have a fairly new Babaton label. Ah. But they're also a double zero. So that gave me a bit of hesitation, but they were $11. And I've seen comps for these pants 
um, in blue and in white, not in green, but for around 40, 50. So hopefully I can sell them around there. And I like that they're a modern Babaton pant. So yeah, next we have these men's Carhartt pants. So normally I don't get to pick up Carhartt, especially at Value Village, but these were $7. So I should be able to flip them into about 30. They're men's and they got the little Carhartt logo there and they're a size 36 by 30. So a size 36 waist and they're just loose fit, like nice men's green cargo pants. Okay, the next item is this nice patterned Clover Canyon shirt. It's mostly sheer, except for at the cuffs and the neckline, and it's a size medium, and Clover Canyon is a brand we've had a few times. This one was $6 at this thrift store, so that was pretty good. They've sold, I think, two different Clover Canyon pieces, and they've gone pretty well, so I'm hoping I can get somewhere between 30, 40, or more dollars. I mean, if I look this up and it's worth more, obviously more. I just don't like to overestimate. This was a fun find. It's a Sarah Pacini dress. Sarah Pacini, we've also had a few times. It kind of depends on what piece you have. There's the tag. I didn't see a size tag here. I think someone cut it off off the bottom, but perhaps the materials tag will let us know. She's got kind of like avant-garde sort of login look pieces. And this is no different. It's got this cool like V kind of thing going on in the back. It's very like artsy and stuff. Um, definitely a vibe. And a lot of people really like Sarah Pacini and her stuff retails for a ton. So I got this for $15 and I'm hoping I can turn it into... Actually, I don't even, I don't even know if I want to guess anymore. I'm just guessing. Maybe one day we'll do some like what things sold for and what, no, I don't want to do that either. I'm just going to stop guessing though, because I think it like hurts all of us. I think I can get more than that. I paid 15. That should tell you approximately how much I think I can get for this at least. Yeah. Next, another anthropology piece. This was a super cute little moon sweater. I loved the bell sleeves. I love that it's like lightweight, but it's still a knit sweater. It's not new with tags, but it's got a little extra thread or whatever on it. Anyway, Little Moon is an Aritzia sub brand. It's not one of my favorites to pick up, but I do believe it is expensive and I really liked this piece. So we picked this up and it was $9. So I'm excited to see what this is even worth. I haven't looked it up. I am a bad reseller. Whoop. The next thing we got was this Patagonia dress. It's quite dated, but it's still a Patagonia dress. It is a size small, made in Sri Lanka, a lot of their stuff, and it was $12. So I'm hoping I can sell it thanks to its very nice brand for at least like 40 or so, but I'm, again, I haven't looked up comps and I don't have time right now. So I'm just showing you what I picked up based on my instincts, which is not how you run a business, but when you're short on time, sometimes it is. Next, we got this free people jacket that I'm very happy about. And this is new with tags, free people. It's a Weta free jacket. It's in an extra small. It's like this oversized thing. I think this will do really great over on Canada. So we'll see about that. And this was $20 for the new with tags jacket. So hopefully I can make a good, nice, decent profit on that. Okay, next we got this black Babaton maxi dress or like a Miggy maxi dress because it's kind of a high low dress. I love that it's black. I love that it is a size 10 in Babaton's newer looking tags. Like everything was going for this dress. And even though they wanted $18 for it, I was like, I'm pretty sure that we can turn that into a profitable flip. So yeah, it's got this cool twist. It's Babaton, it's modern. Babaton is Aritzia. Let's go next. And this was a super fun find for us. This, or at least it says it is. I believe it. I don't know. I would like to believe it. Okay, anyway, this is this is a little like I don't want to say sweater vest because it's totally open in the back, or you could wear it as this is the front, I suppose. And this could be the back. It's just a little like cropped, sweatery, ribbed piece. And anyway, the brand is one of my favorite bolo brands that I never get to pick up, which is Jack and Moose. You see there, it's got Jack and Moose tag on the inside and then it's got it here. So this is like a designer luxury brand and I've never actually picked up a piece of it before. So this is the first time for me and I'm excited to see what this little thing is worth. I paid 
$17 for it. So hopefully it's worth quite a bit more than that, which I think it should be because it's Jack and Moose, but you never know. Sometimes not so much. Okay, this is a fun little vine for me. This is an Alice and Olivia vest cardigan, and it's very subtly sparkly, sheeny. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? You see it's got like the shiny. There's the Alice and Olivia tag. It doesn't have a size, but maybe there's one over here. Let's see, 100% linen, cool. Gives me the style. The size is right here on the side, I'm an idiot. This is an extra small, so fair enough. Um, and it's a nice neutral, like kind of taupe shade, but like also kind of shiny, I like it. I feel like, yeah, it's a good addition to the outfit. So this was $11.00. I think it can be a lot more than that, but we will see. Next, this cute little loafer shirt. It's, can you see it? Can you see it if I hold it further back or can you see it if I come closer with it? It's a little pleated like little prairie shirt and it's Wilfred. It's a size medium, which I loved. I just thought it was super cute. And this one was only $7. So I was happy with $7 and I think I can Turn it into, I don't know, 30 or so or 40, probably 30. This little jacket Ethan made me get, but he's not even wrong. Like, okay, this was $7 and it's a cloud veil hoodie jacket. So it's got some merino wool in it, which their pieces often do. And it's fleece lined and it's a size large. It's also super cute and basic. And he's not wrong. Like, I know they sell it at Costco now, but they're pieces just keep flying out of our closet. So it's one of those things that's like a super quick flip, but maybe not the most profitable flip. And so hopefully this will go well, but yeah, it's in like perfectly good condition and it's a size large. So it had a lot going for it. Next, we've got some more Aritzia pants. Which sub brand are you? These are Wilfred Free pants in a size small. They feel super comfy. And they have an elastic waistband and they're just so cute and so small. These were nine dollars and i'm excited to see what kind of profit i could make from that a million two million something in that range right this is a jumpsuit i don't know what it's made of but i know it is woolrich you even see that hello it's woolrich and it's in a size large and at this thrift store the green tags were 50 percent off so that said 9.99 but this was actually five dollars so that's why i got this so it's in the size low. You can't freaking see the Woolwich. Woolwich. There you go. And I'm not, I don't know anything about the resellability of their jumpsuits, but I figured for $5 and it's a pretty substantial piece. It's got wide legs and it's in good condition. It looks super comfy. Um, all those reasons. I think this can be profitable. It's got pockets as everything should. So I feel good about this one. These were $7. Um, and I didn't believe it at first, but these are Lululemon. They have a size dot with the numbers around it. And I was like, I don't know, Ethan, I kind of hate that pattern and it looks really inconsistent. And so we looked up the numbers on the size dot and lo and behold, it showed us this weird ass pattern. <laughs> Hopefully someone wanted these, but they are like basically new Lululemon Wonder Unders. And what size are you? Oh, look, they still have the rip tag. Okay, like, come on, what am I supposed to do with that? So the rip tag is says size six, which totally makes sense based on this. And yeah, $7 for Lulu Wonder Unders. I just did it. You know what I'm saying? It was an Aritzia heavy trip, but we do live near Aritzia. So like near the where Aritzia was made. So it makes sense. This is a Wilfred shirt. It's super cute. It's an extra small. Oh, it's buttoned up all the way. And it was $6.99. So pretty good. I wish it was one of those green tags that were 50% off. But I mean, at $6.99, it's still pretty good. And I think this should do around like 30 or so. Ah, more Aritzia. <laughs> Another green tag. So 50% off this one. And for some reason, this one was $4.99. So like, I don't think ordinarily I would have gotten like a, a long sleeve crop top from Babaton, even though it does have the new-ish looking Babaton tag. And even though it's a size medium, the crop tops just don't hold as much value. But the tag says $4.99 and then it was 50% off. So that's like $2.50. Well, yeah, that's basically what I have to pay at the bin. So I would get this. So that was really easy. Huh? Oh, this thinks. I think it is too. But this thinks it's a 3.1 Philip Lim dress. <laughs> We're going to have to get it authenticated. It's in a size 2. It was $14, but then it was 50% off. That concerned me at first, but like, honestly, I understand why going into that particular thrift store, people wouldn't think it was real. It's a super cute dress. It's got pockets. So it was, what did I say? 14. So it was seven. Nice. And like the, 
the care tag and everything looked okay. So hopefully this works out, but I am going to authenticate it because I don't trust this store and I don't trust me to be able to authenticate luxury goods completely. Not yet. I'll work on it. But yeah, what's it say? 100% silk of the lining. Body is viscose wool and elastane. Cool. Yeah, it's got these little tassels. It's a nice dress. I hope it's 3.1 Philip Lim. Yeah. Okay, and then here we have this cost dress, which I would not have gotten if it weren't new with tags. So the newer tags price was $190. It's in a size extra small. And sadly, this thrift store, it was a pretty cheap thrift store, this one that we went to, and it had good prices. But when you have the original price, they price things up. So this was $30. I'm hoping I can sell it somewhere nice and in between, you know, 190, 30, somewhere. Let's meet in the middle, guys. But it's like heather gray. It's a midi dress. It's long sleeve. It's stretchy. It's got a waist high. I think it can do well, especially given how other cost dresses have done in our closet. Next up, we got this Kitten Ace bomber jacket. I don't know if it's men's or women's. I know it is Kitten Ace. It's got the Kitten Ace logo here, in case you don't know it. This is the Kitten Ace logo. In case you don't know Kitten Ace, Kitten Ace was like someone who was part of Lululemon teams early on, and then they like broke up or whatever, and so these people started Kitten Ace is the story. So like alternative Lululemon, I guess you could think of it as. So it's a size small and this was $15. I think this should be a pretty good flip and we're happy about that. Oh. All right, this was $6. This is a Maeve skirt. Maeve is an anthropology sub brand and also it's a US size 12, which is fantastic. Larger size anthropology does like Eon's better for me than smaller size anthropology and I just I love this skirt. I love the length. I love the button front. It's gonna be a good flip, especially from six dollars. I still haven't looked this up. What I did is ask Ethan to look it up and he was like, yes, this is worth getting. And I was like, great, thank you. Because this is a name I've never heard before. So it's Mary Catrantzu. Mary Catrantzu. I'm just gonna show you. And an extra small. Oh good lord. There. And it's a super cute, like very patterned little skater dress. It's got an open back. And so I'd never, I'd never heard that name before. So I was like, well, you gotta look it up if I'd never heard it before. And lo and behold, Ethan was like, yeah, pick that up. And so I was like, great, awesome, thank you. I cut the tag off already, but I remember this being like, I don't think they knew what it was either. So I think it was about $10. So just off, based off like the cute little, <laughs> is this a being? Oh my God, what is that? Is that a toad? Is that a blinged out toad? It's a blinged out toad. I'm starting to like this Mary Cattens Ramblum. Okay, we have one thing left. Wow, we didn't get any shoes this day. That's so unlike us. I guess our normal sources are so good for shoes. And these ones were terrible. Like I remember, I think I showed you guys in the thrifting part of this video, or at least I tried to. And they were so overpriced or like in terrible condition. And I was like, I'm not, we're not playing this game. I hate this game. Anyway, this is another long maxi Aritzia dress. I love it. It's got like a nice A-line skirt, deep V-neck, long sleeves. You can see it. I don't know. And it's a Wilfred size medium. This was $14. So I hope we can get a good amount more than that for this, especially because it's a maxi dress. And oh, it's just so chic and cute. I love it. Yeah, there was a lot of Aritzia, but I picked up the things that I thought were like profitable flips and left the rest behind because just because something's Aritzia doesn't mean it's like super, super worth selling, but a lot of it is. So we get those things. Yeah, that was what we got on the thrift haul. It was really cool to check out some new thrift stores. I do believe we'll be going back to at least one of those locations on a semi-regular basis. And then we will absolutely blacklist one of them. And then one of them was pretty mediocre and we didn't get anything. I probably barely got footage in that one. And then this was all the stuff that we got from all those other three stores that we went to and we actually bought stuff at. So that was pretty cool. It was a good thrifting day. Um, I'm very excited to keep expanding our knowledge of the thrifting area where we live. And I encourage you to do so too. You know, go to the the next over from the one you usually do. Just look up secondhand store, thrift store, consignment store, look up all those things selling used goods and go check them all out. And if it's a waste of your time, like it's not because you've just vetoed that one store, or at least that's how I see it. 
So thank you guys so much for being here. Hit subscribe down below if you want us to reach a thousand subs because I do. And it's starting to seem like that might happen one day. So <laughs> that would be super cool. And other than that and me being awkward and weird, we'll see you in the next video. So bye.